フルカウンター Alright, lads, welcome back to the Grand Cross video. And the release date for ReZero coming to Global has now been confirmed. They have now tweeted out the actual teaser images, like how we got on JP, which does confirm the update will be dropping this Monday. Alright, quick intermission, but I do believe the actual login bonus should have started today, but it didn't. So I think that might have been a mistake by Netmarble, which is why there was probably a server maintenance that happened a few hours ago. So I think tomorrow we're going to get the login bonus, but that doesn't change the fact of the release date because it, I'll show in a second. But JP did get the update three days after the first initial teaser so we're gonna get the same thing here however like they say we should have got the update bonus today but we didn't so i think we're gonna get tomorrow but we're still gonna get the login rewards and also get the update on the same day which is monday and to be fair normally i don't make these type of videos going over when's it coming to global because most people i assume most of you are watching right now knew it was coming five days after jp however because it's a collaboration a lot of people have been asking my channel when's this collab coming to global because they are new to the game they don't understand how what the gap is between jp and global but yes it is coming out on monday we're gonna get day two tomorrow day one and then obviously after day one or these one we're gonna get the clap monday morning which is one day earlier than our regular updates we'll get to the monday we normally get it on tuesday but that is because jp got it one day early on wednesday rather than thursday so uh that is basically all for the actual release date however i want to go over my first impressions with this update or these actual collaboration now that we've seen actual gameplay for our older characters on jp so obviously if you are new despite subaru being there subaru is not a character i'm assuming why he wasn't a character was because that return by death passive although he could have made it work it's not a good gimmick right if they made another suicide unit that'd be kind of weird this as a collaboration but also because well it looks slightly one to make reinhardt and also echidna i mean echidna is really good for the unknown team we'll get through that later on but also reinhardt is uh i mean he's unique it's a lot of rng for his agile passive but the character is unique and i think they want to do that with this collaboration because uh i think picking reinhardt was probably the better option and also echidna as well the way she works the unknowns if they made subaru eh, it wouldn't really make too much sense right although he would have worked in the game so uh Maybe part three. I assume part three will low-key be um, Subaru and Felix. I mean, that's the only one I can think of. Or maybe Krush, I think is her name. But uh, to go through the characters, Echidna, to be fair, I think she's a must-have. And I'll go through that later on in my, my should you summon. But um, when we get purple out from Merlin, you know, the next unknown festival... You're going to want to have this character. So I'll break that down later on. But uh, yeah, Echidna, man. I think people are saying she's probably better than Reinhard. But obviously, Reinhard being a DPS character. And also, as well, being more of an RNG character. Unless you have him 6-6. Six, six, his uh, ultimate does do does go a bit crazy. I think uh, he's definitely better in terms of being a DPS character. But I think considering this uh, Echidna is a mix between an unknown and also a DPS character. She can uh, kind of go both ways. But you got uh, you can't underestimate the basic stats for Unknown Race, man. I mean, 50% for... Your, all your team because you're gonna be running a full unknown team granted like i said right now the unknown team is mostly seasonals and also collaborations so if you are a free to person then it's gonna be very hard for you to take advantage of the unknown team however i think we start getting more uh, we get more unknown characters like if we ever get the vampires they may be unknown race when we do like i did say get purple out for merlin maybe we get a go far a, a dual unit i'll make a video probably tomorrow or later today going over the festivals that we could see in the game and uh, i think unknown go far at least go far like a dual unit could be both demon and unknown so i think once again you could take advantage of that so i think in the long run echidna is definitely gonna be a lot better plus i think her ultimate at one six it still just does the buff it's 20 percent base stats for your team or your allies and also 35 percent damage increase for your unknown race i i'm not too sure if that scales up depending if it is one six but uh i do know at least she could be usable at one six where reinhardt yeah if, if you're not getting this guy six six or five six i probably wouldn't use him or try and get him up because uh his ultimate is random it applies four of the random effects out of the five that he has so uh if you use the guy like two six one six and you don't get the damage increase and also the all stat buff then yeah he's not that great the banner not that great but it is to be expected for collaborations but at least a good thing is that the actual individual rate for the characters are 0.5 and also overall i think it's like 1.4 so the overall rate for a re-zero character is like 1.5 ish so uh you have a 50 50 chance to get a re-zero character so more times than not you will get a re-zero character however if you don't get a re-zero character then you are going to get the worst characters in the game. I mean, see, uh, Merlin's good, but you probably already have a 6-6. Six, six. 
The outfits for ReZero are top tier. At least I think Echidna looks really, really good. Uh, this is blue, but it's more green in game. So I'm glad that she looks like that. And also, uh, what's it? Amelia has one of the best outfits in the game. They kind of shafted Ram, and that's kind of a big theme for this actual uh, collaboration because Ram got shafted completely. And even her relic, we'll go for that in a second. But to be fair, Ram already had 555 cosmetics. So you actually can skip this one. So uh, not too bad. But I say one thing they don't show is actually Rem did get a UR set. That's why she's missing here. However, it is free. So the fact that Rem is free and also you get the cosmetics for her. She's not too bad. And to be fair, I'm going to make a video about it when we actually do get it. But I think she might be a good replacement or actually a good usable character for the new, uh, or not new, but the, but the actual bird, the Monty Pipa, I'll make a video about it later on. So right below me are actually the relics for all the characters. It kind of got a really, really good one. I mean, it's just damage increase and also decrease damage taken. Only for itself, but you take it, right? It's not that bad. It could have been a lot worse. Uh, Reinhardt got a good one. It basically increases max HP. Bear in mind, the character is based off max HP. So it, that's basically increasing his actual attack and also making him survive more. I think this is good, obviously, for the barn team. But I think if the reason why I want to get him 6 6 is because I think he might be a really go to character for like fan of bosses or even in guild bosses. I, I think the more HP you have, the more points you typically get. So the fact that this guy increases max HP and also has a really good AoE ultimate, I think the guy could be usable for the actual bird, the deer, and also as well the new wolves because that AoE ultimate can probably wipe them all out. But uh, I know someone has defeated floor 3, I think, with him, but you have to have Freya. So I'm not too sure, man, but we'll see how that works. Emilia got shafted, kind of. I mean, she does more damage was frozen targets so on the off chance you they attack you twice and they get frozen and you have your ultimate you can then do more damage if this applied to other uh, herself or other allies that'd be good but only plus herself so i uh, know that great but to be fair amelia wasn't that bad her just getting a relic with extra extra cc and uh, obviously the final cosmetic is good enough so she's still fine rem got a really good one man i made a tweet about it so Rem got a really good one. She can get upwards to 130, around 150 if it is 4v4 PvP. Because you get 10% base stats for every unknown on the battlefield. That includes herself, her allies, and also the people on the other team. Meaning you can get 60%, 80% if it is 4v4. You also get 20% from Ram in the sub slot. You also get 30% from Akinna's passive, which is the exact same as Rem's relic. Where you get 5% per unknown race on the battlefield. And also when Akinna does ult, you get 20% more basic stats. And if it is 4v4, like I did say, it's a lot more as well. So, I mean... Echidna is like, it's just insane. 130% basic stats. I mean, I think Naga showcased it. She has more HP than Echidna with HP defense when she's attack crit. So she is uh, definitely, definitely crazy. Not what, I mean, it's what she needed, but obviously she definitely does need a crit more. So um, it would be nice to get a little bit of attack rate stats. Maybe get another unknown character in the future that can boost up attack rate stats. But uh, yeah, that is a really, really good relic. Makes her actually a lot usable. And like I just say, a lot better for obviously uh, PV content too. Ram got a really bad relic to be fair. It it makes her most useless part of her kit do damage now, which is kind of nice in a way because now she can actually do something with her actual AoE skill, but she needs something to buff up the team in the sub slot, like how we got Festival Zelda. So unfortunately, she didn't get that much love. And also as well, Beatrice got, uh, to be fair, what she needed. She wanted more, I would say, crit chance or crit damage is literally what she needed. However, it would have been a bit better with attack rate stats. 8%, but uh, it's still fine. So, so overall, good for Rem and Beatrice. Eh, for Ram and Emilia. To be fair, the best part is literally just get them getting more CC. That's the cheat. But like I said, first impressions for the ReZero collaboration. Really good for the part two. Really good outfits for both or for all the characters. Ram kind of got shafted a little bit because it kind of hurts a child. But uh, I mean, Ryan got a good one. This one's okay. I think I prefer his old one. But I, I like the outfits overall, which is a big thing because last year they're all terrible. Like you see these down here. They're not that great. I do like Ram's one. So she can can stay like that anyway and then the others one got really good ones too we did get a free rem and also rum which is nice i suspected we were going to get a free rem but if you did get rum last time then she's now two six assuming you didn't pull her once so if you are using the unknown team two free copies of hers can help you get a six six which is what you want because she is a sub slot unit and the story got uh to be fair, it was the worst story so it's still kind of bad but at least we got new content with the new uh, rabbits which i think i've seen they get up to it's like 500k cc and uh yeah overall it's a pretty good update you can't really complain about collaboration it's free crack free characters i can see someone getting into the game right now and seeing a free copy of rem and ram and i think they're buzzing and then obviously they get a kidnapped this summer so uh yeah overall pretty good for this update we'll have to wait and see when it does come to global how i finally feel about it testing out the new characters and seeing how they do work in the game so uh yeah boys thank you for watching and uh, yeah peace